This video is um, a tutorial on how to recover mercury from these relay switches that you find on old circuitry from telecom places. That one's from a, uh, an old phone exchange. Um, so there's a hole in the end, you just put the screwdriver in there, peel it up, peel the sides out, peel the whole thing off, comes right off. Now the fat end is the end that you go into. Um, you crack the wax off the sides. It just comes off. There's that tape. Peel that tape off, and then pull it around the corner, and it'll expose the corner, like this one. Um, those two things there, those metal blocks, are little magnets. Now do this underwater. If you get the uh, screwdriver in under there and just peel them off. Um, straight out, it comes off the solder joint, just peels off. It can break the uh, little vacuum glass thing and uh, get the mercury to explode out, so do it underwater. If it doesn't explode, you can just pull these to the side, then exposes the contacts there. You get that with a, with a rusty pair of pliers, because the uh, mercury will bond with everything except iron and do it under water, um, bust them out, drop all the glass and wires and everything into the bottom of your bucket the mercury goes in there, tap it, shake it even when you've tapped it and shaken it and got what you think is all the mercury out, there's still more, trust me there's still more, keep those things that you've already used under water um, I'll show you how to get the mercury out of that later this, um, this is the amount of mercury I got out of just two of those switches I've probably done well, 15 or so, and that's how much mercury I got out of it. There's more than two ounces there, there's no way I would ever use that much. Um, that's a weekend prospector will never use that much. Unless she's lucky. Um, be careful, use your gloves. Old tools that are rusty will go better, then you won't have to worry about it amalgamating with your old tools. Um, when you plastic or glass people the only thing that's safe use this to get it out pop it in a jar or a bottle as you've seen these relays have already done this one um, a way to get the mercury out stick them in something like that an old fishbowl net whack it in a big plastic bag tie the plastic bag off make sure that the air can't get out if the air can get out the mercury can get out um, Get the plastic bag like that, make sure this is at the top of the bag, not the bottom. Um, leave it in the sun for a few days. The heat will, you know, the air will expand, the heat in there will vaporise the mercury. Mercury will go into the uh, air, that's why you need it um, airtight. If, uh, if you lose mercury, vapor, mercury vapour is poisonous. Don't muck around with it, it will kill you. Um, keep it under water as often as you can. I've even got, you can see there, I've got water in there. If you go to your chemist and ask them nicely, they'll give you one of these bottles. We've got poison on it. You can label it. Keep water on top of it at all times, and it's safe. Uh, as long as you don't smash your bottle. Um, after you've had this in the sun, the mercury is vaporised. That makes sure there's not too much air in there, so you've got room for it to expand. Uh, if you've got an old freezer or something down in the back shed, stick it in there and wait till it's cool and you'll find a little droplet of mercury in the corner of the bag. I don't think that will work for amalgamated gold and mercury solution, uh, but it will work for free mercury. Just a handy little hint. Thank you.